story of who I am started here at the Christchurch New Brighton Beach about a year and a half ago now when I decided to change my name to Astaria Ray and prior to that I didn't really know who I was or know who my identity was until that moment and I remember coming down here with a very dear friend of mine and writing my name in the sand for the very first time and screaming it to the world and to the universe and watched as the ocean just came and swept my name into the sea and from that moment I've felt like an absolute goddess and have just enjoyed the experience of knowing who I truly am as a person and since then I've done some random and crazy things at this beach so it seems appropriate that when I'm talking about who I am that I come down here first of all and uh, because this is where my story begins. So some of the crazy things that I've done down here is my mates and myself decided the goddesses that we are that we would come down to a goddess night uh, that they have here in New Brighton once a month and there was bonfires and people with their fire poi and fire sticks and glow poison and everything and again this was just when I changed my name to Astaria Ray and there was a full moon, it was a really still and calm night in the middle of winter mind you so it was a little bit cold and I decided to dive into the ocean and really embrace who I was and from that moment on my life has significantly changed. So just noticed and become aware that it's also a full moon tonight which is really appropriate for me. Every time I seem to come down here there's a full moon and I haven't been down here to the beach for six months. Um, I was attacked in this area six months ago and I haven't been able to come into this area since then and um, this place is so incredibly healing for me and so it just it seems so incredibly well appropriate and really emotional that the full moon is, has just come out from behind a cloud and, and shining down upon me right now so maybe that's a sign that I can reclaim who I am yet again because after the attack I kind of lost my identity so you guys are going to be a part of this. I'm going to go down there and, and write my name and again scream it to the world and take back who I am. Um, you can't really see my name in the sand because as you can probably tell behind me it's a little bit dark right now but it seems quite perfect that again here I am under the full moon and standing in all of my glory and the goddess self that I am and just really taking that back and reclaiming it from what was taken from me six months ago. Here I go about to scream my name under the full moon. I'm a starry array! <laughs> I am just going to take you on a little walk down a journey that I took approximately a year ago now when I was on the path of finding out and discovering who I truly was. So let's cross that bridge. Who am I? I'm Astaria Ray. I'm 30 years old and I currently live in Christchurch, New Zealand and I work here as a life coach and it's my vision and my passion to journey alongside others so they can help transform their lives and find their authentic self that they can be free from limiting beliefs or limiting patterns that have taken them away from that purity and that innocence which I believe is what our authentic self is about and my journey through life I grew up in quite a violent home and there was um, all sorts of abuse going on in my family and also outside of my family and some events that happened later on in my life that really took me away from my identity and who I was and so I grew up and I formed this identity which to me seemed quite false and I had a number of masks that I wore on a daily basis and basically my life was just about surviving and 
I finally reached this point in my life a couple of years ago when I went on this life coaching diploma course and that just transformed my life incredibly and since then I've changed my name to Astaria Ray which is hugely significant for me and that was the first time in my life that I found that I reclaimed back who I was and my real identity and my authentic self and Astaria is a Greek goddess and if you look back into her mythology she stands for innocence, justice and purity which is very much the foundation and which I base my life on that I'll speak up and fight out against any injustices that are out there in the world or happening to people because it just strips us from that purity and that innocence and it takes us away from who we are and so I'm a speaker of truth and I fight the good cause and part of my vision is to become a public face and a public voice and a public image and really speaking up and against some of these things that are out there in the media and society today. So who am I? I'm a starry array. I'm a goddess of light. I'm a speaker of truth. I stand up against injustice. I believe in purity and innocence within the world and within everybody. I am a lover of life and everything beautiful. I am spiritual at heart. I am universal. And I am most of all, I am loving. I certainly hope that you have enjoyed this video and getting a little bit of a glimpse into my life. I certainly know it's just been incredibly overwhelming and magical getting to create this and I look forward to chatting with you soon and doing another video next week but in the meantime take care. I'm also a tree hugger. Duck chaser. <laughs> There's a problem though when you're in a forest and there's like a hundred trees because you have to hug them all right? <laughs> I believe that you're never too old to have fun or swing on a swing in a park. <laughs> really disheartening is that as a kid my legs could never touch the ground and as an adult they're still not touching the ground. <laughs> you're never too old to have fun. Yeah. <laughs>